Hey everybody, it is your gaming slash survivor buddy Gordon here with uh, our latest exit interview. Uh, before we get underway, before we talk to Liana, just a real quick bit of business. Uh, on Twitter, at uh, Gordon Holmes, got a lot of comments asking me to turn on the comments uh, on these YouTube videos, which honestly is horrifying, uh, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, let's stick to the game. Let's, uh, let's be kind to one another. Um, you know, these are all people that are playing a game in front of millions of people and then they want to go home to the regular lives. So let's, let's, let's keep it as such. Let's, uh, let's, let's play nice. And if we play nice, we can keep the comments on. Uh, this could be a nice place to come discuss how we feel about, uh, this, how the season's going. Also, if you get a chance, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It does, it does a huge solid. We really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. And, uh, that's all I got. So, uh, let's, uh, see what Liana has to say about last night's episode. Liana, welcome <laughs> to my hangout. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Make yourself at home, kick your feet up, help yeah. yourself to any snacks. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we won't, pro we won't provide any snacks, but I mean, you know, whatever snacks you have, drop me a line and maybe we can refund you the money they cost. <laughs> Thank you for making me feel so welcome. <laughs> of course, I, it's my goal to make people welcome in their own homes. Uh, so <laughs> mission accomplished. Uh, so, all right. They get mad when we, we have fun instead of talking about Survivor. <laughs> Although talking about Survivor is also fun. Um, sure. So I've been trying to figure out exactly what went wrong with the alliance uh, between yourself, Danny, uh, Shan, and Deshaun. So it seems like Shan's point of contention was that Deshaun had sworn on the alliance, but Ricard told Deshaun that Shan had thrown his name out. So what is your take on this whole mess? Yeah, I think there is just a lot of dynamics that were going on at that Shan vote at eight um, between what was said between Ricard and Deshaun and Shan. Um, my entire thinking amidst all of that is like, you know, we have this alliance, Black Alliance at eight. Even if there is all this beef and this back and forth, it makes no sense at eight numbers wise, if you're in the majority to vote out your four, that makes no sense. We can have World War II after, you know, this eight vote and like come at each other, but at eight, that makes no sense. It makes no sense for me and Shan to write to Sean at eight either. That's why we say, said, okay, let's do Erica. So for me, it was just like, regardless, like that was an emotional decision. And I think Ricard said it best in, um, in, in, in the, the clip yesterday evening is like, that was an emotional move. Like it wasn't strategic and it wasn't necessarily smart. It was just emotional. Was this just a case of, I, I said, you know, Deshaun and Shan, Deshaun, just, it never <laughs> happened. Um, could they just never get on the same page? Yeah, I think they they had two personalities that just clashed. Um, and, you know, D Deshaun couldn't be told what to do or have any inkling of that. And then, you know, Shan is very, um, she knows what she wants and she's going to go after it. And so, you know, they tried to mend it and stuff, but you could see, you know, that that dynamic wasn't going to play out and it, and it was going to, they were, they were going to come for each other at some point in the game. Um, so it was just a matter of time and the timing couldn't have been more off. <laughs> yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, what you said last night at Tribal. The whole conversation uh, I thought was needed. Um, and, uh, but I, I guess what I, what, I, what I wanted to ask you was, you know, the hope was that this, this alliance would make it to the final four and it didn't, which must be disappointing. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking about it, you know, Shan is survivor royalty now. And if your knowledge uh, is power thing had went a different way, you'd be a legend. Uh, Deshaun and Danny are both top contenders to take home the, the prize. Uh, so despite how things turned out, do you take some solace uh, in how well regarded the individual members are? Yeah, and I think like, I think that goes for like every player like on the season, like everyone was like playing an amazing game and these are all amazing people. And I, I really hope people like watching, like there's, there's so much that you don't see as a viewer because of the edit, like there's 24 hours plus of footage. And so um, I'm proud of all of them. Like we were all out there to play and we made an amazing season uh, collectively together. And so, um, yeah, everyone like deserves like those accolades for sure. Like we were, we were playing our asses off. <laughs> uh, everyone was playing an amazing game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Everyone, Liana. All right. Um, okay. Speaking of uh, of knowledge is power. Um, now, from what we saw, it, it seemed so telegraphed that Xander had the idol. He's like, "Look at my idol." Hey, everybody, idol here. I'm gonna play it on Evie. Um, yeah. That it almost felt like that he had. There's no way he had the idol. Uh, what was he, like? Were the things we missed that made you think he yeah. actually had it, or what actually happened there? 
Yeah. So I think the biggest thing, like, like, let's backtrack. I get this advantage. I go back to camp. I make up a story. No one at Yasa knows I have this advantage. I don't want them to know about it. Um, we get to the merge and Shan outs me and tells Tiffany that I have this advantage. Now I got to go do damage control. Um, I was really, really tight with Evie. So I go and tell them because I want to mend that relationship. And also number two, because I know that I, I'm gunning for that, um, I, I spend the entire day consoling Evie. I'm like, Evie would never, you know, think that, her, you know, their number one would, would go against them. So um, I'm, I'm spending the entire day doing that. Um, another thing that I did was, you know, I knew Shan um, knew what the real idol looked like because she had it. So I was like, Shan, go and check with Xander and see if it's the real one. Um, and so she did do that. And, and she, she checked like in a, a incognito type of way as well. And so um, genuinely, when I go to tribal council, I do think that the idol is on Xander's body. Um, and so, you know, in, you know, hindsight is 2020 and the way that they, they, they do film it, it's like, oh my God, like, Liana, like, how do you not know this? But like, let's say, you know, I go in and ask Evie, you know, Evie, do you have the idol? And it happens to be on Xander's body. People are like, well, why did you do that? Like, so I knew no matter what going into that, um, I was gambling. And the fact of the matter was this is the knowledge is power advantage. And everybody knew about it at that point. So I'm thinking, you know, um, you know, it becomes like, when does this become a liability for me to have it and like not play it at this point? You know, will Xander have it? You know, will he give it to someone else? Else. Um, would he think that, you know, knowing that he would give it to someone else, then I, he's going to keep it on his body so that, you know, I do ask someone else. Like there was so much to consider and I knew it was a gamble, but like I said, I came out there to play and I did play and I thought that was the best move at that time. And I did think it was on his body. I adore Shan. I'm a Shan fan, Shan Stan, all of the above. When she told Tiffany about your advantage is one of those Gordon screaming at his TV moments. Uh, <laughs> Tell me you gave her a little bit of grief over that because well, unforced error. That, yeah, yeah. At that point, so I think big things for me going into the merge, coming from Yasa with my relationships with Evie, Tiff, and Xander, I never trusted Xander because he never trusted me. And I didn't think that any of the advantages he had, he would ever use to defend our, our tribe. Like I, I knew he was playing in an individual game. So the relationships that Evie had with Xander and Tiff were not necessarily in the best interest of my game. They're in the best interest of Evie's game. So I knew I was trying to turn ties and shift up the game and, and make, um, make an alliance that was best for me. And so I have this relationship with Shan now and, you know, Danny and Deshaun are talking about this thing. So it's this transition. I'm literally like rocking back. Like I, I have to make one transition one way or another. Um, and so when Shan outed me like that, I was like, that is awful. And you're this amazing. I know you need all these moves on ooh, ooh, ah. Like, why would you do that? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't have the, you know, bandwidth to go off on anybody right now. I'm trying to make a smooth transition and, and make it to the next day. So I was like, okay, that happened. Damage control. So like, I just had to roll with it, honestly. All right. Well, when you're done with your interviews today, give her a call. And for me, be like, um, so last night, you did not roll the shot in the dark die, um, which leads me to think you had something going. What did you think was going to happen heading into tribal? Well, yeah, so I, I knew I was definitely put, had the potential to be on the hot seat uh, uh, for the tribal council. And so, you know, I didn't want to work with Danny and Deshaun after what they did. But like I said, now I'm in the minority. The tables have turned. I need whatever numbers I can get. So my mm -hmm. biggest angle is Ricard. Ricard is a huge, you know, immunity challenge beast. He's a threat. Anybody can see that. We're getting down in numbers. That makes sense. So I'm, you know, spending my day with Erica and Heather and I'm talking to them. I'm like, what do you think? Right before we go to tribal council, I look Erica dead in her eyes. I'm like, Erica, are you voting with me? She says, yes. So I, I, I can just sense that something's up and it could be me tonight. Like it's between, it's going to be between me and Ricard. Um, and so going into tribal, I'm like, you know, I got to throw Ricard under the bus. Like whatever I say, it's got to be targeted at Ricard, throw him under the bus, convince Erica. But there was all those, these dynamics that happened at tribal council. There's a do or die. Deshaun has his moment. So it was like, I was super disoriented and, you know, and thinking about the shot in the dark, I knew I didn't want um, I saw what had happened at the merge when Sydney played her shot in the dark and it inadvertently got her out of the game. And because we were so down in numbers, I didn't want to lose my vote. I knew that could be the difference between me being in the game and not being in the game. So I, I didn't want to use it. Okay. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word, couple words, a poem, a haiku, whatever you got. Uh, and let's start off with Abraham. Um, funny. Okay. Uh, Sydney. Dramatic. Uh, Voce? Cunning. Uh, Ricard? Uh, um, snake. Okay. Uh, Tiffany? 
Uh, comedian. Shan. Um, fierce. Erica. Um, strategic. Danny. Stable. Evie. Um, genuine. Uh, Nasir. Sweetheart. Uh, Deshaun. Uh, shifty. Okay. Uh, Heather. Clueless. Okay. And uh, let's finish off with Xander. Uh, savvy. Savvy. Uh, speaking of Xander, I saw a secret scene uh, where Xander admitted to having somewhat of a crush on you, which I totally get. Um, <laughs> what was really going on out there? Was this like a throwing rocks at each other across the playground kind of situation? <laughs> was that a one way um, crush or what was going on there? Yeah, um, so I'm actually like in a very like happy, committed relationship, um, but it was just so funny. Like it was so funny when Shan like and Ricard, you know, give this information to me. And I was like, I, we've literally been gunning for each other this entire time. Like, this is like the cherry on top. Like, this is hilarious. Um, but at the same time, I was like, I don't care if he has the biggest crush on me in the world. Like, I want him out. Like, I've been gunning for him forever. Like, Jesus. Um, so it was just like the funniest thing. Like, I feel like everyone was just like, like kind of dying of laughter of the whole dynamic. You're like, this crush can't be that big because I asked to hold his idol and he said no. Right, like, we're like, come on, like, just give it to me. <laughs> not only did he not say no, he was like, oh, I'll give it to her, but not to you. Yep. yep. Yeah, like, it, yeah, it, it was, it was, that's, def I'm, I'm glad we gave that uh, to the fans to see, because it's just a funny dynamic, like, it's just hilarious. Um, as you said, you know, we see 42 minutes out of a three-day period. Uh, a lot of stuff happens that we don't get to see. Was there anything that happened out on the island that you wish had made the edit? Um, yeah, I think, you know, me and Evie's relationship, like the first time I ever like met Evie, um, you know, well, even beyond that, I think like the Yasa camp life was just so fun. Like I wish one of the downsides of having all the advantages in the game is that you don't get to see the social dynamic and what's happening at camp. And we were just like, I feel like fans would have loved it. And I think like the moment me and Evie's relationship in particular was really amazing. Um, and like, like I said, the first time, like I, I met Abby, I was like, you know, Abby, like, I, I want to work with you. Like, if you don't write my name down, I'm not going to write your name down. They said the same thing to me. And we were like this, you know, so like, I really wish fans got to pick up on some of those dynamics. Um, me, uh, me, Abby and, and Tiff all bonded over like our Jewishness and like, you know, craving different like Jewish foods and stuff like that. It was just fun. Like, it was just really fun to watch um, and, and to be a part of. So I really wish that that fans could have witnessed that too. There's a long time between uh, when this is filmed, obviously, and when you get to see it in your living room. Uh, knowing last night's episode is coming with that, with that huge discussion, um, how do you feel it was handled? Um, do, you, do you think, you know, is, is there things that you wish that, that, that had made the cut or do you, do you were happy with how it was handled? Yeah, I think like one thing that was kind of hard is the way, like, you know, I think uh, me and Xander's dynamic was played out. I think it was, the edit was shown like a very one-sided and a lot of fans, like, I don't think they showed any dynamics between me and Xander until I said like the thing like, I hate his face, but like, if you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you would have seen like our dynamic and why we were both gunning for each other, you know, it wasn't that I hated his face. I was just irritated and frustrated in that moment, you know, and he's a great person like outside of the game. Um, but I think it, it showed very one-sided and now, you know, they released this clip of like, oh, he had a crush on me. So it seems like, oh, well they were both, there was, you know, like, but I think if you didn't have that, like people would be like, what the hell? Like, so I think, you know, that was hard um, to see. Um, but you know, it's, it's like the edit and they, you know, they, they have the hardest job in the world of trying to condense down you know, 24 hours plus of footage, um, to, to really, you know, make a story. So, um, yeah, it's just tough. How can you hate that face, Liana? Come on. <laughs> you it can't. Is, I don't. <laughs> He's adorable. I know you're in a happy, committed relationship, but you can admit that Xander's a cutie. I get it. I'll admit it for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So we're running out of time. Liana, this was a ton of fun. Uh, thank you so much for your time and call Shan and give her the business. <laughs> right. <laughs> thank All you right. so much. This was awesome, really. Thank you so much. Thank you for the snacks as well that you offered. They were delicious. Oh, you, what, what did I give you? Um, you know, some pretzels, uh, Gardettos is my favorite, so. I'm so generous. It was a are, are Gardettos ones have like the little discs of like. Yes, they're so good. What are those things? No idea. It's just like they took flavor and compressed it into like a disc. So good. So good. So good.